start my video on here. It's probably really shaky right now. I'm so sorry. <sighs> I shouldn't be doing YouTube. But you guys probably don't know who I am. But my name is Sibone. C. Bone. Sibone. Um, I'm not a beauty guru. I'm not a professional mukbanger. And I don't have any talent. <laughs> but, um, I kind of just wanted to do a drive and talk type of thing um, as my first video, kind of for people to get to know me. Um, the, I'm gonna just go ahead and get into it while I'm starting YouTube. Um, I'm starting YouTube because I'm gonna get real deep right now. And I need to hurry up before it gets really dark. Okay, guys, can't see me. But let me try to get the brightness up in here. Here we go. That's as bright as it goes. But um, I decided to start YouTube and start filming because recording so and edit videos so I have something to do and keep me occupied I do um I can't say I have depression because people are going to be like oh, are you diagnosed or are you self-diagnosing yourself um I've not gone to the doctor but um um let me tell you my story before you judge me um I'm engaged. I've been engaged for, it's about to be two years now in July, no, in December. I've been living with him since October, so it's going to be two years this upcoming October, and it's going to be two years this upcoming um, December that we've been engaged. And since we've been dating, it's going to be two years this upcoming July. And... Since we've been together dating, well, not dating, but as soon as we moved in, we moved in very quickly. Um, you can judge it, you can say, oh, you moved too fast. But um, we're going on to two years strong, and I'm the happiest I've ever been. Um, we're so far, our relationship is great. So. But, um, what was I gonna say? <sighs> oh, yeah, I have short term memory loss too. Great. But, um, I was saying that ever since I moved in with him, um, you know, we had, you know, me mixed up. Like, um, how do I say this? Let's just say we didn't use protection. And when he was about to shoot, he said, Oh, I'm about to. And I'm like, Go ahead. <laughs> I'm trying to keep it PG 13 here. Oh, man, I'm dark. But, um, I have a little bit of light. Okay. Um,. I thought, oh man, I'm gonna get pregnant. But I was happy. Um, took a pregnancy test and it was negative. <sighs> so, halfway through the year of living together, I took another pregnancy test. I got a false positive. I got so happy. Um, I don't think I have the pictures anymore because I deleted them because it just made me feel so depressed because I want a baby. So I um, I got a false positive, which is pretty freaking weird. Um, and up to date now, which is March 18, 2019, and still no baby. 
It's about to be two years, and I still haven't had a baby. Now you guys might be saying, well, have you gone to the doctor and see what's going on? I have not. Doctors are expensive. And I know, I know. Sooner or later, I'm going to have to go to a doctor if I really want this baby. And I am. Of course I am. Dude, hurry up. I am. But anyways, um, right now I'm just trying my best to do any natural thing to try to help me conceive. Um, there's a lot of Mexican superstition stuff that you can do. And I just want to do all I can right now and get it out of the way. And then my last choice would be going to the doctor. I don't know, there's something about the doctor, I don't know, I'm too scared to go because I just feel, I feel like the doctor's going to tell me some bad news and I feel like I'm going to lose my marbles. I feel like I'm going to lose my shit. And so that has, that has me so depressed. Um, it just comes and goes every month. New month comes in, period comes, and I... And it's not even when I'm on the period. Um, even after I'm done with my period, so it's not like I'm PMSing. But even after my period, um, I'm I'm just so depressed. I I cr I just cry the whole time. I see a video of a baby and I cry. Um, I know it's not PMS because when I am PMSing, you'll know because I don't cry when I PMS. Um, I be mad all the time. Yeah. <sighs> Who's a lucky man? He is. Anyways. Um, and then recently, it's been about three weeks since my my best friends passed away and those best friends of mine are my dogs my huskies angel and lily they passed away and that broke my heart into a million pieces because those dogs weren't just you know any dog they they were part of my little family they they were a they were the closest thing I have to sort of having like a baby. Something I could take care of. Something that I've raised since it was a baby. And I, I don't know if it's my head. Um, some people think it's crazy to treat animals like they're actual human beings. Like they're your babies. But I feel like if you're going to have any type of pets. Um, you better consider it as part of your family and treat it as it is part of your family um those babies were my kids and i don't care if that sounds weird to anybody or if somebody thinks i'm crazy i might be but they were my heart they were everything to me and whenever i was depressed um as soon as um they walked in the door because they were outside most of the time especially right now because they loved being outside um, they would come inside sometimes, but they wanted to be outside all the time. They're huskies. They want to be in this cold, chilly weather. They loved being out there. So when they would come in, um, my husband, um, my husband, I call him husband, man. I don't care. I'll get into the whole um, why we haven't got legally married yet into another video. If it's not a lot, but I, it's something I need to explain. A lot of people think that I can't call him my husband because we're not legally married, but there's an issue that is keeping us from getting legally married. If not, we would have been planning it already. Oh, man, I need to hurry up because ah, it's getting dark. Um, whoa. I don't know if you can see this, but, like, the sky is, like, red or orange. Hold on. I think you can see it closer here. Y'all see it? It's beautiful. But anyways, um, okay, that's a weird angle. Um, like I was saying, um, you see what I mean about short-term memory loss? Oh yeah. So whenever my fiance 
fiance, husband, whatever you want to call him. Um, I call him my husband. I don't care. Um, he lets them come in, and I was feeling depressed. As soon as I saw them or I hugged them or they came to me, you know, just, like, sniffing me, licking me, um, me hugging them, I felt so much better. Like, instantly, my depression would just go away. And now I don't have that. Not that my husband didn't help, uh, not that my husband doesn't help me, but he tries his best to make me feel better, but... There you go, him look. And it's not his fault or anything. I don't want him to feel like he can't help me. I've told him before. It's I don't know what's wrong. I feel like it's because I can't have babies. Because I'm missing something. I need something to care for. I need something to nurture. Something to love me. Something I can hold 24-7. That's why, um, enough about the sadness, um, so, as you see, <clears throat> I've been having a pretty rough time, um, so that basically explains why I want to do YouTube, I feel like it'll keep my mind off of these unnecessary thoughts that I shouldn't be thinking about. Something that does keep me occupied though is before um, my baby girl Lily died, she had puppies and she had six but one didn't make it so she has five right now and when she, well, when she passed away um, they were barely two weeks so I've been bottle feeding them you know cleaning them you know just taking care of them and ugh, excuse me that's something that keeps me occupied um but it's not enough it's not enough um i still feel i feel stressed i feel i've been having so much anxiety um so much anxiety I I've been having chest pains I feel like I'm gonna have a heart attack so that just even blows up my anxiety even more um, I just been really really out of it like I have not been myself and you know I have friends I wouldn't say friends as in plural but I have a couple of friends that not even a couple <laughs> maybe like two or three um that you know they do check up on me they you know try to make me feel better they try to give me that little pep talk and i i very much appreciate that i love oh heck no do you do you see that in the back That is not normal. I do not feel safe for that. That is freaky. Yo, that is freaky. Very freaky. Uh, I can only keep this on for a little bit. <laughs> but, um. I'm gonna hurry up and end this video but yeah I'm gonna be starting YouTube and we'll see how it goes am I gonna upload consistently I don't know because once I start something I stop at it because I am that type of 
person that is not organized and, and not successful. So, yeah. Um, I don't know what type of videos I'll be doing. Uh, most likely vlogs. I feel like I want to do mukbangs. I'm really good at eating. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't feel like I'm doing makeup videos. I am not that good at makeup. I do my makeup to my likings to where I look good. And the way I probably do it, my techniques, my mechanism of doing my makeup, it's, it's not the right way. I'm pretty sure it's not the right way. And I'm pretty sure people are going to be like, ew, stop it. You're gross. So. <sighs> but. I don't know. We'll see along the way. Um, I think that's it. I think I'm going to stop this video now. <laughs> you can barely see me. So. Um, if anybody watched. Which I know. Because I don't have any subscribers. <laughs> Thanks for watching. And I hope you stay around. And I don't know. We can be sad together and shit. We can help each other out. Yeah. Alright. Bye guys.